All right, good morning. Uh, this morning I'm going to do these uh, beautiful uh, irises. Amazing. Uh, you know, spring is here and let's enjoy the color. You don't often get a chance to paint this kind of rich, true color uh, like you do when the flowers are around. You know, they really give you a chance to explore. So let's enjoy this and we'll get into it. All right, so I'm going to begin with a warm, uh, just a warm background color. They're kind of a violet, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're really a, a rose violet, so you don't have to worry too much about the color of the flowers. They're, they're very uh, dark. And the vase itself is, is warm as well. So these are some, that's gonna dry. That's gonna dry much lighter. Towel is probably one of the most effective tools you get. Let's start with the uh, vase here. Uh, I'm just gonna take some raw sienna, a little touch of cobalt blue. I'm gonna place it dark, so I don't want it to be too wet. So I'm gonna take my brush and just touch the heel of my brush to a towel. That takes a lot of the water out of it. And I'm gonna do inside the vase here. Forget about the leaves for now. Okay. And I will take a little bit of the raw sienna and just touch the, you know, here and there on that. If you touch here and there, you know, you, you want to break up that, um, all that color. You don't want it to be all the same color. And you can take, again, take your damp brush and just touch here. You know, just a lot of that won't show because we're going to have the, stems coming through but just to break that up a little bit of raw sienna underneath the the lip of the uh, vase and bring that down there's actually a tiny bit of rose in that color as well apparently reflecting from the flowers i'll leave that on the center this is really picking it up. The handle is picking up the. Okay, then we'll take a little bit of cobalt blue. Just a little warmth, a coolness, I should say. And we'll. Just on the edge, it's picking up a little. Very slight, very small part of the painting, okay? But now the fun parts begin, so. This is really a lot of fun. Uh, beautiful color in these. You'd never see these colors, you know. So um, I'm going to start with a really rich. This is beautiful, rich rose. And in this corner, I'm going to take some ultra, very dark. So I'm just placing the shape here. Notice how that. Just placing those beautiful darks, They're unbelievable. You know, you never get this velvety sort of color. Wonderful. Okay, and I'm going to rinse out my brush and take some of that very weak, very weak rose. So, and just 
I'm going to paint the shape of that uh, top leaf. This one has a little more blue in it. Almost, they, they are transparent, you know, just wonderful. So what we want to do is take some um, rose color here while it's wet. Just touch the edge with a, a smaller brush here, just. Okay, now while it's still wet, we're gonna take some raw sienna and just pick up a little bit of that edge. Let them run. Maybe a little bit of uh, really in yellow, brighten it up a little bit. Let's do some of these. Pull some of these together. Don't lose your edges there. So I'm just picking up some of the rose and blue and letting them all run together. And we'll pick up a little green over here. Uh, gonna mix that green with the with the raw sienna here. A little bit of the... A little bit of that stem coming through. Before this dries, you can drop, just take some clear water on your brush and just put a drop here and there, you know, just let it fall off your brush. You can do that while it's still wet. And that will create some, some veins in the flowers and so forth that always looks wonderful. and take a damp brush and fool with the edge a little bit. Flowers always have that lighter edge and you can just add a little extra touch. We have another one here. This is just the rose. pick up a little blue at the same time if you want just to give this all a little bit of different look you know that little variety in your colors very helpful This photo was uh, given by, uh, was actually posted by a friend of mine, Julie Riker from Maine, who is an incredible artist. She did a version of this in oils, which was unbelievable. She's so good. Julie Riker, so if you wanna look her up on Facebook. 
some incredible artists out there and you can be one of them it just takes work it takes you know it takes the love of, of painting you know it's such a beautiful thing it's such a joy A beautiful velvety, velvety look, you know. Just amazing. When do you ever get to paint these colors? You know, you just don't get to do it. Wonderful. Just painting in these dark. Some of these things you have to add lib to, to sort of fill in the composition. Use some of this green. All right, same thing we want to pick up. You want to pick up some of that dark rose while this is still wet and just sort of put an edge on these leaves. Sounds a little. All right, and then we have, it's so luscious, oh my God. <laughs> I love, I love these colors. Notice if you press your heel, you'll get that lighter color at the edge. It works very often in flowers. Adding a little blue to that one. Isn't this fun? So much fun. Look at this.
put it in if it's too dark just take some water and soften it you don't want that I want that hot edge going on up there drop some water on it lead it again over here just drop some water you know let the water do the work Very thick paint, very wonderful. the colors just merge and all right so that's pretty much it uh, we can do the you know, you can get into some detail with the vase here. Uh, I'm just going to pick up some, some of these drips coming down. When the drips come down, it's a beautiful chance to, you know, take a little brush and create some little variation in your, in the edges of the leaves, you know, just use that paint some blue here and just create a little shadow again under that pigment under the lip of the face so it's red yellow and blue again so it's always always that red yellow and blue So that was fun. I love irises, they're just beautiful, you know. Uh, thank you, Julie, for sending me the picture or allowing me to paint it, appreciate it. And thank you for joining me. I will see you again very soon.